Hey there, party people! Yeah. Hey! On today's episode of Yakin' and Snackin', we're snacking on Annie's mac and cheese. Adult mac and cheese. What makes it adult mac and cheese? Costs more. Oh. <laughs> it's organic. Yeah. It's um, actually for the baby. It's actually for the baby, but she is not eating mac and cheese. She is on the floor eating rice cakes while well, she's taking the rice cakes out of her snack cup and placing them on the floor for later, presumably. And she's eating the um, melties. Yeah, she likes the melties. Yeah. <clears throat> and the topic of today's yakin' is Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother, here's the one that made me a mother. Living her best life today. I messed up because now she sees the mac and cheese. So this is what it is to be a mother, sharing your mac and cheese. Mm -hmm for the rest of your life. We're having a um, party for my birthday here next weekend. Oh, sorry. Not fast enough in my yep. noodle delivery. Yeah, so we, we haven't like mowed the lawn yet. Travis's lawn mower, which is also my lawn mower, yeah. but I don't- It's our lawn mower. It's our lawn mower, but yeah. I don't use it, so I call it his. <laughs> and we need it because it's very long in some places. Pretty bad. We have company coming over. And then I also need it so that we can pick up all the leaves and sticks that are in the yard. And have been sitting there since the fall, when they fell yeah. from the trees. Mm -hmm. Whatever, so. it's just, we're busy. Yeah. It's the way that our life is, I'm not gonna mm -hmm. be embarrassed of it. The leaves fell in the fall and we never picked them up and they're still laying in our yard. And it's just how it is, folks. Yeah. We're getting it done now. So we um, weeded the garden beds today, um, the flower mm -hmm. beds around our house. For the most, mostly, we did yeah. them. Like, I don't know, 75%? It looks like we tried. Yeah, we made an effort to weed them. Mm -hmm. So that was good, feeling good about that. No, thank you. We're trading off. You can go around a room. Oh, I can have some of Papa's mac and cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a girl. Turns out the airplane game is fun. <laughs> Who knew? So something fun about us, I eat mac and cheese with a fork the right way, and Travis uses a spoon. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I have my reasons. I think the reason is so you can shovel as much mac and cheese at once into your mouth. Well, it's... Is that the reason? It's uh, appropriate for the container that I have. I can scrape the bowl with a spoon better than I can scrape the bowl with a fork. So yeah, that's like the activities for Mother's Day, but then also this little gal Bless is you. the other topic of our yakin' and snackin'. Yeah, we also want to talk about Rena. <laughs> <laughs> so, in honor of Mother's Day, we wanted to talk about um, some of the many nicknames that we have for our daughter because if you if you're new to our channel we're kind of obsessed with our baby um mm -hmm. yeah we just love you so much yeah we just have a million funny nicknames for her i feel like there are some people that are not nickname people you know like very formal they're always going to call their child by their name their birth name but we are not those people. I feel like it might change as she gets older, but right now she's too cute for just her name. <laughs> Sometimes the nickname just bubbles up out of you, mm -hmm. you know? So we made a list. It's pretty lengthy. It's pretty lengthy. And of course there's like, there's like a base nickname and then like nicknames of the nickname too. <laughs> it's true, we tend to spiral. So you'll see what I mean when we start going through the list. I feel like the person who uses this nickname the most should should share it. So that first one, what do you think? Miss Marigold. Her middle name is Marigold. So every once in a while I feel like I need to use that. What's the point of a middle name if you're never gonna use it? Yeah, so that's like when she's wearing a dress or looking very like professional or like he usually, royal. <laughs> he usually says it in this sweet little voice like Miss Marigold. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so if that gives you any indication. I don't know if she knows that you're talking about her when, yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. when you call her. She doesn't know her middle name is Marigold yet. Mm -hmm. Call her Renna Marigold sometimes. 
the full thing. So my go-to is Rena Roo. I call her Rena Roo all the time. Probably more than I call her Rena. I call her Rena Roo. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't know how long we'll keep calling her that. That's kind of a cutesy one. And then Rena Roo spiraled into many other things. Mm -hmm. you, I think this one's you. So Rena Roodle uh -huh. is kind of like where that expanded off to. And then there's Rena Roodle Canoodle mm -hmm. or Rena Roodle Caboodle. Mm -hmm. Probably partially because when she's got a cloth diaper on, she's got a big old caboose. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, she does. And then sometimes we drop the Rena and we just leave the Rudel, so then she's mm -hmm. just Rudel. Rudel Noodle, because come on, how are you yeah. gonna not? Rudel Skaboodle? Or Rudel Skaboodle Baby, if I'm feeling chatty? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> then there's Rudel Scoot or Rudel Scoots. Yeah, Travis uses that one, that's not a me thing. Yeah. Rudel Scoots. I feel like I use that when I'm trying to get her to scoot somewhere, like with us. <laughs> Come on, Rudel Scoots. Yeah, you do. That's exactly how it uses it. Yeah. It's like subliminal messaging. Yeah. Like planting the seed. Like, we're going to scoot on out of here right now, yeah. kiddo. I don't think you do this one. So, Rinna. So, it's more like a Rinna Roo as opposed to Rena Roo. It's kind of an I instead of an E. Rinna. Yeah. Yeah. And she's being like extra cute and sweet. Yeah. Rupert? That's more of a me thing. Yeah, I call her Rupert. Again, this is a spin-off of Rue, so it's Rena, Rena Rue, mm -hmm. then Rue, Rue, Rup, Rupert. Yeah. Which we also call her Rupe, so I call her Rupe and, mm -hmm. and Rupert. Sometimes Princess Rupert, because I think that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if there are people when we're like out and about that hear me call my daughter Rupert and think that her name is Rupert and yep. I named my, my daughter Rupert. Maybe. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. I don't think about it much anymore, but that's pretty common that I use that one. So, mm. oh, and then, yeah, Rupert got shortened to Roop and then roop a -doop is the yeah. expansion of that. So roop a -doop, call yeah. that quite a bit. The next series is a Travis series. Yeah. This is a lot of them too. So Goober is the base of it. I mean, because she's a goober sometimes. Yeah. Goober goon or goober goons, which also opened the door for gooner to be a nickname of hers. So then gooner boots or gooner shoes <laughs> is one that I call her a lot when she's being just goofy. Um, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, sometimes she's a goon and then, I don't know. I used to call like the dog I would... I feel like you still do use that yeah. for the dog sometimes. He uses mm -hmm. them interchangeably for a child and our yeah, a dog. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's not the greatest, but yeah. <laughs> and then this one I think is kind of ties in with one above. Scoodle Caboodle. Scoodle Caboodle. Combines a couple that we talked about earlier. Uh -huh. And then I also use Tinker, which is interchangeable between Thinker and Stinker, depending on what she's doing <laughs> so and then there's tinker baby and tinker bell of course i'm Which a big peter pan fan spin-offs um, tinker yeah so yeah if she's being if she's getting into something she's a stinker tinker <laughs> and if she is being super smart she's a thinker tinker yeah yeah sometimes she gets really like <laughs> contemplative yeah and you'll call her a tinker because she's yeah. using, using her tinker. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes she's both when she's like opening doors or, yeah. <laughs> or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she is dangerously close to opening <laughs> yeah, doors, any guys. Day now. It's scary. Yep. I think the next series is mine, and it's all just a spin off of her <laughs> yeah. being a baby. It's Baby Boo, Baby Roo. Sometimes they call her Baby Wren. And then the last one, I think, is a me. Do you ever yeah. call it? No, <laughs> this yeah, is yeah. my favorite one to share. Because <laughs> um, it's the weirdest. I call her Red Nasty. Which is not not as an insult. Like, not when she's, like, being gross. I call her Red Nasty when she's, like, doing something cool. It's like her street name. Yeah. Red Nasty. <laughs> like Little Ren. Yeah. Little Ren. Little Ren. <laughs> L-I-L. Yeah. yeah. Little Ren. Red Nasty. Yeah. I feel like we're just gonna have like all the audio of yeah, her like running around ah, in the background. 
the back. <laughs> jibba jibba jibba. Jibba jibba doo. Jibba jibba. So things about Rena, she is 15 months old. Um, the light of our life. She is skilled and talented and beautiful and smart and amazing and funny. And she is like going through a lot of like a big growth spurt, I think. Like not physic well, physically too, but just like it seems like every day she learns a new skill or suddenly out of the blue just like does something that she's never done before, mm -hmm. which is amazing and incredible and like kind of takes your breath away because it happens so fast. She tries to comb her own hair now. Like she just, I mean, we don't even comb her hair that often, frankly. <laughs> So I don't even know where she like learned how to do that, but she just like grabbed a comb one day and tried to start like combing her hair. I don't know. Yeah. So she can do that. She wipes up her own messes. Like if you give her a rag and ask her to clean up, she'll like wipe up the table or she can wipe up her own belly because she gets food on it every time she eats, which is something that I love about you. <laughs> yeah. She likes to try to brush her own teeth. But I feel like Papa and I still need to help on that one because we want to actually get her teeth cleaned. Yeah. She mostly likes to suck the toothpaste off the toothbrush. Yeah. It's cake flavored toothpaste, yeah. so <laughs> I mean, who can blame her? She can almost open doors now, which is terrifying. Did she get one once? Yeah, so she could probably open them if they push out. Because she can just barely reach the handle and start pulling on it. But she definitely can't figure out, she hasn't figured out how to pull mm. out to open a door. Yeah, I was in the bathroom one morning and watched the handle start moving and then <laughs> heard it click where she had like unlatched the door. It's only a matter of time, folks. Mm -hmm. It's pretty scary. Yeah. She um got her car seat buckled the other day. Like put the, there's the chest clip like together, mm -hmm. which is crazy. I'm like, how? How do you know how that works? I mean, she watches yeah. us do it, but like, it's not like I'm teaching her how to do that, you know? She just learns it from watching. Kids are amazing. Yeah. She's doing it pretty regularly now. Oh yeah, she is like a rock star with body parts right now. Rena, where's your nose? Yeah. yeah. Where are your ears? Yeah. Rena, where's your mouth? Do you remember your mouth? There's your mouth right there. Rena, where's your belly button? Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Rena, where are your toes? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> good job, kiddo. She also sometimes can do her eyes. Rena, where's your hair? Yeah. yeah. Good job. Rena, where are your hands? Yeah, hands. Where are your fingers? Fingers. <laughs> Good job. Oh yeah, she started saying bye bye like verbally bye bye mm, too new She doesn't word. do too many words verbally. She knows several signs though. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Rena, you know food? Like this food. And she knows milk. And all done. Her new favorite thing. And my new favorite thing that she does is a peekaboo greeting. Whenever someone enters the room, yeah. she does peekaboo. And everybody peekaboos back because, mm -hmm. like, who isn't going to play peekaboo with a baby who wants to play peekaboo with you? Yeah. She can follow directions. Like, if you ask her to, like, take something, like, take the, whatever, can you put the book back on the shelf? And she'll go and put the book back on the shelf, but then she usually takes it right back off yeah. afterward. <laughs> but she does it the first time. Mm -hmm. She loves bubbles. Noodles, swinging, yeah. being outside. I think she likes daycare. No? Yeah, she seems to. Most days. Mm -hmm. Loves her chickens. Loves puppies. Yeah, she stares at the chickens every chance she can. She ah! Or if they're like out and about, chases the chickens. Yeah. Just kind of follows them around. It's not really chasing. She yeah. just like trails after them. Mm -hmm. And they're faster than her, so they just like <laughs> run away when yeah. they feel threatened. But She's almost 21 pounds. Yeah. She's always trying to put her socks on. 
shoes Oh yeah, on. she makes a yeah. real, real big effort to put her own socks and shoes on. Which will be great when she can do that. I can't wait for that to happen. Anyway, I think we might be losing it pretty yeah. quick here. Yes, 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 yes. yes. No, 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 no. She could say no. <laughs> yeah, she... But she just waves her head. It usually means no. But sometimes it means yes. <laughs> yeah, which is very confusing. <laughs> yeah. We usually know which one she wants. Some mixed mixed signals. We're working on yes, 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 yes. That's all there is to know about the Gooner boots. Yeah. The the Ren Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> the light of our life. Our favorite child. Rena Marigold.